Okay, Mr. Murphy, what do we have here? This is a 1951 Packard. It's called a patrician model or model 400, which was the top of the line Packard for 1951. I've had it for four or five years, and I've enjoyed driving it extensively. This has not been just a, a museum car like some of mine. This one has been my true road car. And you know where the car came from originally? I got it from a man in Texas, and uh, it had been restored somewhere, I believe in Tennessee, and they did quite a fine job so that I have not had to do anything basically to this car because someone had completely repainted the car and redid the interior and the engine is running beautifully. So this was one car I did not have to restore myself. Now the odometer I believe reads 11,000 something. Is that you think the mileage has just been rebuilt? Probably since it was rebuilt. Uh, most of those miles I put on the car because I went to a national Packard meet in Williamsburg, Virginia, and I drove it from LA all the way to Virginia, taking a southern route, and then I came back on a northern route to see relatives in Minnesota and Iowa and came across the mountains of Colorado. So all told, it was 7,500 miles, and I did that trip on my own with my wife, and I'm no mechanic. So it was maybe a bold trip, but this car is a very dependable, strong running car. Let me close this door a little better, or do you want me to open it and take a look sure inside? Sure, you can show it closed. What the heck? Okay. And then, we'll, then we'll take a picture right here of the inside, a video. Take a little look to see. I'll take the keys. The interior was redone in exactly the correct pattern for a 1951 Patrician with the proper stitching and panels. It's a wool broadcloth upholstery. And all the gauges in working order? The gauges are working. The clock does not work, but I never bother to restore clocks because those old clocks only work for a while and then they quit anyway. So mm -hmm. I have not detailed the car up for this display today, so there might be a few pebbles here and there, but it was a sign that I've actually had it out on the road. Do you mind opening the back door for me, please? Let's take a look. One thing you, one thing you can see is how wide these doors open. The big packards are great for easy access. You see the back seat has some fancy stitching and the, the handheld rope for the back, on the back of the seat and it has footrests for comfortable riding in the back seat. Packard built a very spacious car. Super, well, I'll just shut this off for a second and we'll take a peek at the engine. Okay. Okay. I wanted you to see the dashboard up close. The uh, finish is a dull brown which is factory correct for 1951 and we did add air conditioning to this car it did not come with factory air but we wanted to drive it around and in a closed sedan it's nice to have air conditioning so you won't see much evidence of air conditioning except under the glove compartment you might see a little black knob if the video is that good and you just crank that to turn on the air conditioning and instead of adding an under dash unit like most people do we had a custom air conditioning installed under the hood and the air blows in through the radi radio grate. Oh, super. And so we removed the radio speaker and we have a duct there, pours the cold air right out in the center of the car. And if somebody in the future really wants the, a radio speaker, they can add modern speakers under the dash that don't show. But it works very well and keeps this car cool, which is important when you're out for a nice ride and you want to close the windows to avoid the noise from trucks, etc. Okay, super. Hold on one sec. Okay, what do we have here in the engine? All right, so this is Packard's largest straight eight engine for 1951. It's a 327 cubic inch and it has nine main bearings. And I'm not a mechanic, so I can't tell you much about it except it was one of their most dependable engines and it certainly has proved that way for me. Uh, you'll see over here to your left, this black box. This is the custom air conditioning unit that my mechanic built. He did his own metal bending, painted it black, You'll see the air conditioning hose is hooked up awesome. and the evaporators in that box. And then down here, you'll see where he switched over to an alternator. If you're going to do air conditioning, it's better to be a 12 volt system. So he did convert it from 6 volt to 12 volt, which makes it much more reliable starting. 
and with the alternator we don't have to worry about an old generator failing so okay, super. otherwise the car is completely um, stock we kept it as a 51 packer okay let's fire it up one second okay Boy, run smooth. Very smooth. Well, my name is Dave Henry, and if anybody cares to give me a phone call and make an offer on this fine car, I'd sure appreciate it. My cell phone is 760-835-0115. That's 760-835-0115. And if you care to visit my website, it is spokemotors.com. That's spoke, S-P-O-K-E, motors, M-O-T-O-R-S.com. Thanks for looking.